Hi folks, it's Chef Ganesh here. I'm bringing to you today sushi, but my Caribbean flavors with some new sushi that I'm doing. I think you guys are gonna love it. I'm also gonna show you how to make sushi. So if you've never had the experience of making it, you can just follow along in this video and you will learn how to make sushi. The two most important things in sushi is the rice and the nori. The rice being sushi rice. I have here some sushi rice that I've already cooked. It's still warm. And this is the rice I use. Nishi, Nishiki brand, all right? The ratio is one cup or one and a half cups to two cups of water. One and a half cups to two cups of water. And I have here seasoning vinegar. Seasoning vinegar is basically rice wine vinegar, sugar, and salt. So two cups of rice wine vinegar, half a cup of sugar, quarter cup of salt. You can make it yourself with rice wine vinegar, plain rice wine vinegar. If you can't get this already pre-made seasoned rice vinegar. I have here a bamboo paddle. If you don't have this, you can use a wooden spoon or a plastic spoon or a metal spoon if you don't have anything else. And I'm gonna use about a quarter cup of the seasoned rice vinegar in this, which is about four cups of cooked rice. So let me just break it up a little bit first. And remember, you have to do this when the rice is still warm. Don't wait for it to get cold. All right, and this is the, uh, the Japanese technique to spread it out. Okay, you can pour it on like this if you like. Right, I just like following the Japanese technique. Okay, that's about a quarter of a cup. And then it's important to fold the rice. You don't want to mash it like this. And you don't want to do this. All right, just fold and fold and fold. It's gonna take at least, I would say four to five minutes of folding because what you want is to get seasoning on every single grain of rice. All right, that's for taste, but it's also for texture and it's also to help hold the rice together to make it stick when you begin to make the rolls. So I'm just gonna finish this up and then we're gonna come back to prepping our vegetables to make our sushi. So today in this video, you're gonna see jerk chicken sushi, which I don't know if you've heard about, but I've created it. I don't know if anybody else has done. I'm not gonna say that I'm the only one doing it, but jerk chicken sushi. We're gonna do a dessert sushi with mangoes, pineapples, and bananas, and a bit of honey. We're also gonna do a vegan sushi with dashi, it's gonna have some cucumber, some zucchini, some spinach. You can mix and mash what you fill your rolls with. So I'm just gonna start prepping some vegetables and show you how to prep it. Basically, the nori, you cut it about six inches by four and a half inches to make a basic six inch roll, which you'll get six pieces from. You can also do eight inches if you like. So. I'm just gonna take off the top and the bottom of the, that's about six inches. Don't you agree? So I'm keeping the skin on. I'm gonna go right down the middle and there's two methods to do this. You can scrape out the seeds with a spoon like this. And then you cut this into the pieces that you would need to fill your sushi rolls. The other method is to cut this in four and then you go to the side and you take off the seeds. Once again, and then you go and you cut it into smaller pieces to get ready. And there you have cucumber slices ready to go. I also have with me here a nice solid zucchini. We are going to do the same thing. Cut it down the middle. Take off a bit of it here, the seeds. That's going to go in the trash bin. Once again.
And then you cut it down to the pieces that you need to fill now by no means this is the only way you can cut it if you wanted to you can cut small slices like this thin slices and then layer this in the roll before you roll it that's one option one sec that second option so we have zucchini we have I'm also going to do peppers, sweet peppers. Do you like sweet peppers? I do. Then cut it in half. Then we're going to take off this rind and the seeds. Once again, the rind and the seeds. And we stack them together. Ooh, you don't want that sticker, do you? And then we're going to go quarter inch. Boom, 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 boom. And that's ready. I have here some ce uh, celery that's ready. I'm putting it together with the celery in the bowl. When I'm ready to make my rolls, we're gonna use that. So I'm also gonna be using spinach. I'm just gonna pick the leaves and we will use the leaves. Most types of spinach can be used for this. All right, this is uh, Chinese spinach. I'm just going to pick up the leaves and we're going to put these inside the rolls when I begin to make the rolls. You will see how it's done. Right? That's about enough for a couple of rolls. So we're going to move on to some fruit. But before I do that, I want to show you here. I also have chickpeas. I use chickpeas for the can, but it's important to drain it and rinse it because the chickpeas from the can has a lot of salt and you may not want that. And I have here dashi, it's Korean dashi, which is basically Korean radish that's soaking or been brining overnight in this seasoned rice wine vinegar that I use for the rice. So this will just add some flavor for the dashi because dashi is really clean. And you can make your own brine if you like to and brine it overnight. But again, you can see it's cut into the size and pieces that I need when I'm ready to go and make my sushi rolls. Today I'm also doing a dessert sushi roll for you that includes fruit, pineapples, mango, and banana, basic tropical fruits. I think everybody likes those. I'm also going to show you the professional way to cut pineapples. First you take the head off and you leave the base on and then you go down the sides taking the eyes and the skin off. You don't want these eyes in it. So you go again and you twist your wrist as you go to the bottom, following the shape of the pineapple all the way around. And there you have it. At this point, then you remove the bottom. Now you don't want the core, you stand it up and you cut alongside the core. You see the core there? You cut alongside the core, straight down. You do it on the other side, straight down. Then you trim off these two pieces. And there you have the core that you don't need. You can use it to make a drink if you like. A lot of Caribbean folks do that. Now, coming back to the pineapple, again, we want to cut it in the size we need for the roll. So I'm just going to go down here. Now, this pineapple looks terrific, but I don't know if it's sweet, so I'm going to have to test it. Look at this. Mm. This one is good, trust me. I have a few pieces here, which is enough to get me started. Now the bananas, I'm going to cut a little differently. I'm going to cut the banana like this, 
so that I can spread it out and layer it in the sushi rolls. You'll see how I do it later when I make the rolls. And it's important to get a ripe mango. Not hard, not salt, not green. Ripe. Mmm. This does not look like it's all the best, the best mangoes that I've ever gotten. But uh, let's peel it and see what we have. Well, folks, we have an epic fail. This mango is no good. It's rotting. So we will have to move forward without the mangoes. But keep in mind, you would cut the mango into pieces like this, like you did the sweet peppers and the celery okay and then you would fill so I in you jerk chicken. the sushi rolls i'm using chicken breast which i've slide in, sliced into quarter inch pieces all right and you must pre-cook the chicken obviously you can't serve raw chicken ever even with sushi so i basically just put a little bit of dry rub which is this adobo just a little and the jerk sauce and then I just cooked it off in a pan for two minutes on each side. And that's it. It's done. It's ready. Now, we just have to slice it up so we can fill the rolls when we begin to roll. So again, we're looking for little quarter inch pieces. And all the bits you can also use that to fill in a roll. Or you can use it with when you're serving a bowl. I'm also going to show you different ways to serve sushi. And there you have it. This is going to go back in my bowl. Now let's talk a little bit about the sauces I have here. Okay. We have some sweet soy sauce for dressing. You can use hoisin sauce if you want. I'm not going to use this today, but I wanted to show you the option. We have some honey, which we're going to use in the dessert sushi. And I have some habanero pepper sauce. I eat pepper sauce and everything. I'm going to put it in my sushi rolls as well. If you don't have pepper sauce, fresh pepper sauce or hot sauce, you can use red pepper flakes. That's okay too. Um, the Japanese have their own pepper sauce as well, which I don't happen to have today. But uh, you can also use that if you can get it. So I have here a sushi mat that's made with bamboo. And as you can see, the spaces in between so you can roll it to make the sushi roll. I'm going to put it in a plastic bag. You can also use a plastic wrap. Put plastic wrap one line over this way and one over the other way. But it's important to use the plastic because you don't want any rice or sauce getting in between because then it's a serious problem to fix. All right. Now, to make the rolls is very simple. You grab about 100 grams of rice, which is about four ounces, which is a small handful, okay? I've been doing this now for three years. So this is about the size that you need. You grab one piece of nori, and then you push forward, and you pull back, and you spread it out on the nori. You don't want to press into it. You might see videos on YouTube with chefs or sushi makers pushing the rice into the nori. That's not necessary. As you can see, I'm a little short, so I'm going to grab a few more grains of rice. All right, sushi rice is different from all the other rice you get because it's polished. And the reason it's polished is so that every grain can be exactly the same. And if you look at this in my hand, close up you can see almost every grain is the same and this is medium medium there's also small sushi rice and medium and uh, a lot of the medium rice comes from California now first I'm gonna make a vegan sushi roll with a little bit of spinach I'm just going to put some spinach in here and layer it in just like so. Let's do one more. And then on top of that, I'm going to put 
zucchini and cucumber and then just a bit of jerk sauce now if you know how to make jerk sauce you can make your own I'm purposely using a store-bought jerk sauce because store-bought jerk sauce is a widely popular all over the country almost anywhere you go now in any grocery you can get a store-bought um, jerk sauce but if you know how to and you want to make your own feel free to do it and now the mat and everything we're gonna hold it in place and we're gonna go over and press it down and slightly squeeze don't be squeezing like this because everything is going to come out the side you just want to press lightly to make it compact and then roll back and you have your first sushi roll you're going to go again and make another roll um, you may want to use oil on your hand so the rice doesn't stick or water and then pick up another strip and once again you push forward and you pull back spreading out the rice as evenly as you could all right when you start doing this there's no need to rush take your time all right if the kids or the hobby is rushing you just tell them do it themselves that's all it's nice and easy now you notice the first one I did the nori was on the outside now I'm going to put the rice on the outside and I'm going to get that by just simply flipping this over and now we're going to fill our sushi roll I'm going to go with cucumber again I'm going to put some spinach first actually spinach one more cucumber and this time I'm going to go with a row of chickpeas right. remember to drain and rinse your chickpeas beforehand I'm also going to put some how about some sweet peppers you guys like sweet peppers And then we're going to go over a gentle squeeze and we are done. Now I'm going to make a dessert roll, you push it out, you pull back and down and across, a few more bits and bobs here and there. It's okay, as you can see, I've been doing this for three years and I still don't have it perfect, so don't feel the need to be perfect. So, pineapple, bananas, you're just going to lay the bananas across like so. Let's put one more. Pineapple. Since we don't have the mango, I'm going to put some sweet peppers in there. And how about a drop of honey? Don't put too much honey because when you cut it, you will have honey leaking out all over and you don't want that. And then we go. Squeeze gently. Ooh. 
You have some bananas escape. Chicken. Now, how about a jerk chicken? A little rice, grab a nori, a piece of nori, push forward, pull back, go to the side. It sounds like I'm giving you dance instructions, all right? So, think of it as a dance. You're dancing the rice as you make the roll. Chicken, chicken, celery, and I've put in there a piece of zucchini. And let's not forget the jerk sauce. Just a little bit. That's about a, a teaspoon. All right, remember if you put more, it's going to come leaking out. After you cut the pieces, you can certainly put more on top. A gentle squeeze. And there. Yeah, and this time I'm going to make a, a vegan, another vegan sushi roll for you. Uh, we're going to put falafel this time. I have some falafel for you, so let's give that a try and see how that tastes. I will be using store-bought falafel. If you want to make your home, you have a recipe, feel free to do that. Um, but the store board is absolutely fine. I use that regularly because it saves me a lot of time. And here we go. We're going to line them up like so. And a bit of cucumber. And some celery. And away we go. Gentle squeeze. And boom, we have. After you've uh, made your rolls, you want to cut them for serving into one inch pieces. And it's very simple, but you need a very sharp knife. If your knife is not sharp, sharpen it one way or the other. And you just go straight through. Don't saw back and forth. Just make one cut straight through. And you can certainly trim off the ends. And then you plate it. And you could put a little more sauce on top if you like. Since this is the vegan roll, I'm using some honey. And there you have your first serving. And let's go with another one. Again, let's cut right through. And you can flip it around and cut two if you like at the same time. And again, Mm. 
Ooh. This will happen occasionally, folks. It will come apart. That's okay. At the end of the day, it's all ended up in the same place. And once again, since this is a dessert roll, we're going to add a layer of honey on top. And we have our jerk chicken. And again, we're going to plate our jerk chicken. And if you like, you can top it with a little more jerk sauce. And there you have it, folks. Caribbean sushi. Please feel free. In the description box below is my contact information. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me. Chef Ganesh, over and out. Thank you.